I'm not sure who need to hear this message. But I feel like it's about to change your life. As a matter of fact, this is going to be the most important video that you've ever watched, man. I challenge you to stay until the end of this video because, listen, it's about to change your life. Before I get started, I want to pray. Let's pray. Lord, I ask that you use me as your willing vessel, speak an on time word to your people. Only you know, Lord, exactly what it is that they're dealing with. Only you, Lord, know how to make the crooked thing straight. Your word can make that incision with precision that lead them to make the decision to say, you know what? I think I'm going to choose to step out and trust God on this situation. I think I'm going to choose to accept his peace because we know peace is not something, it's someone. Peace is you, Lord, and we want more of you and we invite you in. Your word says, well, two or three are gathered, you're right here in the midst. So, Lord, by faith, I hitch up with my brother or my sister right here. Lord, you said, well, two or three are, you're right here in the midst. So we invite you in. We thank you that you are with us. Your word says you will never leave us nor forsake us and just have your way in our life. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God put this word on my heart this morning, and I just want to share it with you. In spite of, in spite of what you're dealing with, will you still praise him? In spite of everything that you're going through, will you still press in and seek the Lord? I know life can be rough. Life be lifing. But I want you to know something else. God be gotten. <laughs> If I have a magnifying glass right here, see, the magnifying glass is never the problem. The problem is where we choose to put the magnifying glass on. If you magnify your problems, oh, they look big and they'll wear you out. But if you choose to put it on God and get into his word and give him your attention, you magnify God. You got to small up your situation and big up your God. In spite of what you're going through. The Bible, thank you for this, Lord. The Bible says to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. What that mean, Demarcus? Where my jacket at? I need some pants back here. I use some pants. You know what I mean? Hey, put on the garment of what that mean? Listen, the heaviness. That's a spirit. When the enemy trying to attack you, burn you down. Put on that garment of praise. Put some worship music on. Ooh, when, you, when you get into his presence, when you start to thank him, Lord, I thank See, the enemy try to attack me. I lift my hands. I, Lord, I just thank you for everything. Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing in spite of. Lord, I thank you. And the enemy look through and say, How is he still praising God? I just tried to attack him. How, oh, my goodness. He, he automatically praises God. Ooh, listen, when you invite worship through the front door, fear got to run out the back door. Because faith and fear cannot inhabit the same place at the same time. Sometimes, boy, I be going through situations and I got my magnifying glass like this right here. And the enemy like the enemy try to tell me like, Demarcus, what about, your, what about your situation? What about this? What about that? You know what I be like? What about God? What about God? What about God? What about God? Because listen to me, when the enemy tried to tempt Jesus, what did Jesus do? Jesus spoke the word. Jesus says, it is written, man shall not live. He told it to the devil. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So since Jesus spoke the word to the enemy and defeated him, he gave us the blueprint. What's the blueprint, Demarcus? You need to speak the word of God to your situation to defeat the enemy. Enemy try to, <laughs> try to come at me. I say, boy, it's written. <laughs> you feel me? Boy, it's written. It is written. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is written that I'm a child of God. It is written that I'm saved. <laughs> I've accepted Jesus Christ. My identity is with divinity. I was created on purpose and for a purpose, and so were you. Boy, you got your own fingerprint. Please take two seconds to look at your own fingerprint. Ain't nobody got the same fingerprint as you in this world. <laughs> I'm special, man. I, I, man I, I'm so, I'm, man, God's so good, man. I, man, listen, in spite of what you're going through, I, I need you to just put the magnifying glass on God. You feel what I'm saying? I need you to put the magnifying glass on God. I want to show you something right quick, man. So I had a deck of Uno cards, right? And I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I was just going through the Uno cards. You know what I mean? These these days, the, the new Uno cards, they ain't nothing like the old Uno cards. You know what I mean? So these Uno cards, they got all kind of little blank cards in them where you could write stuff on them and stuff. I don't like all that. I like the original, like the original stuff, man. You You know what I'm saying? It's kind of modified a little too much, all right? But anyway, I was looking through the Uno cards. And, oh, man, I saw a card that they got in there I ain't never saw before. 
Now, I'm about to show it to you. And look, this go right. I'm trying to tell you this go right with what I was going to talk to you about. God always on time. He causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. I'm trying to tell let, let me show you something. Man. Watch this right here. Man, let me get well, I still got that thing on my shoulder, man. Let me lick my you gotta lick your little finger. I'm gonna teach you how to do this card trick one day, but you gotta lick your little finger. Whoever you're doing the card trick on, make sure they don't see you lick your little finger. You know what I mean? Because that's gonna be kind of gross and they ain't gonna wanna hold the cards when you're doing the trick. You know what I mean? Alright. Is that is that your card? No? Alright, cool. So I'm gonna give you that one. I'm gonna put Is that your card? That's not your card? Alright, I'm gonna put that one down. Put the next one on top of the day. Any one of these your cards? That makes your card. Alright. I'm gonna show them to you one more time, all right? Cause I thought I thought your card was in there. Is that your card? That ain't it. All right. I'm gonna put that one down. What about that one right there? That's your card. What about that one? What about that one? I just showed you all four. Show them to you again. It's all four. Is that your card? No. Is that your card? No. Is that your card? What your card was, man? You had it. <coughs> it's been in the stack the whole time. That's what your card is, man. What that say, Demarcus? Boy, that say swap hands. Look, man, in this, man, this stuff, man, these games be so crazy. I wouldn't even want this in my, in my. I wouldn't even want to play with nobody like this. How I look, I'm about to win the game, and somebody put down a card that say swap hands that mean if i only got two cards and i'm about to win in uno that mean i got to give you my two and you give me your 10 come on man you making it too easy easy for people now nah, man to win man whatever happened to the old school card boy i used to have two or three draw fours in my hand Ooh, make them feel a mm, mm, make them feel a mm, feel the pain whenever you play this thing trying to bail somebody out man Oh, but look, though, watch this. I was looking through the deck, and I saw this card. Man, I realized something, man. <laughs> hey, Demarcus. See, you might not like this card in the deck. But what if God throw it down, though? <laughs> I'm just saying. What... What if all that you going through, you dealing with all these these situations, you got cars all over you, you got stuff going on. And God said, hey, I'll put this down. Demarcus, give me your hand. Oh, hold on, look. You mean you want all my worries, all my fears, all that I'm, all these situations. I was trying to do it all myself. Are you sure you want? His word says casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. That means I'm a, he, he want every, he say, let's swap hands. In spite of what you're going through, I still want to carry your little. Give him everything. And then and then look, after we swap hands and I give him all the cards. You know me, I'm like, well, Lord, what you. How many cards you going to give me? I'm not giving you any cards, Demarcus. I'm giving you my peace. <laughs> Boy, it's an even exchange. You give him your worries and he gives you his peace. And then it's game over. Hey, man. I'm trying. Listen to me. Whatever you. I'm, I, I just want to talk to you. Whatever you going through. In spite of what you going through. Pause. Take a time out. Give God your worries. Because he want to swap hands with you. And give you his peace. Because peace is not something. It's someone. Accept his peace today. In spite of what you going through. God still going to give you the victory. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video. Need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I accept God's peace. Because that's right. You accept this peace. Just like when you go to the grocery store. And you pushing your buggy down. You get the bread, the peanut butter. You get all this other stuff. Take some peace. Put some peace in your basket. You, you freely you can get it from him. He's giving it to you. And then you go to self checkout man. And you get on about your day with his peace. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.